Welcome back. Now let's begin with some developments in the policy. We begin in Abuja where it's been a busy day for justices of the Supreme Court as the court earlier today upheld the election of six state governors. Two partners were empowered to deliver the judgment. One led by Justice Kudirat Kikiriyeko and the other by Justice John Okoro. The appeals were either dismissed for lack of merit or for being incompetent. Again, by the Supreme Court, His Excellency is very grateful to the court. He's very grateful to everybody in Ugu State for their support. And we look forward to us being in office till 2027, delivering on the mandate of the people and our promises to them. The victory of today, the Supreme Court, as well as the victory, uh, our victory in the Court of Appeal and Tribunal. Alhamdulillah, we thank God for that. We thank the court for the judgment. It's a very lucid judgment, and uh, it has restated the position of the law. It has brought more clarity into the issue of pre hearing notice. Concluded uh, today, I believe uh, it is a high time for us to join hands together to work together for the progress of Kuna State. The Supreme Court has confirmed the judgment of the tribunal and confirmed the judgment of the Court of Appeal. So there is great rejoicing in Delta, there is thanksgiving, and the people of Delta will now settle down and face the business of government. We are very happy with this judgment. This judgment can open more new doors for us in Delta State. In line with the agenda, there is meaningful development for all Delta, opportunity for all jubilations trailed the judgment as parties whose victory the court affirmed could not hold their incitement the supreme court later rest all issues in respect to the governorship election appeal from the state what this means is your position either as appellant and respondent having exhausted all their legal opinions will now have to embrace the governance of the duly affirmed governors celestina inria tvc news abuja <laughs>